This is the second video in a series of videos featuring how to use NCYSL in the science classroom. In the previous video, we looked at how to use the Student Research tab and the Britannica tab. In this one, we're going to start with the InfoTrack Junior tab. Uh, when you click on that, it provides uh, access to InfoTrack Junior, which is a database uh, that will provide you articles about whatever topic you're searching for. Uh, so we could look up, I think before in the previous video, we looked at hurricanes. And so if I look in hurricanes uh, and type in that keyword, it'll give me uh, information about hurricanes. Now, on the side, it says about my results, and it gives me different options that I can look at. Well, maybe I want academic journals. Maybe I want books. Maybe I want newspaper articles, uh, images, or videos or even audio clips, or maybe I want to narrow my search down by related subject. Uh, so maybe I'm looking for emergency preparedness, and there's 17 resources about that topic itself. Um, and then it gives me different ways to look at it. Uh, maybe I want just a brief article. I don't want something too long. Uh, I can also search by publication date. If you look at these publication dates that are provided here, you'll notice that the publication dates are way more up to date than anything we have in our textbooks. I'm recording this on July 27th, uh, and it's got an article from a magazine that is uh, from August 2013, uh, July 22nd, 2013. Uh, so it gives me a lot of uh, excellent up-to-date information. If I go to the advanced search topic or advanced search portion, it'll give me even more ways that I can uh, search for things as well. Let's head back to our middle school zone and let's take a look at the next resource. The next resource is the Groller Online, which is an online encyclopedia. It works just like a any online encyclopedia, you would type in your keyword search and try and find that information. Um, we're not going to spend too much time going over that, but at the bottom of the page, there's a resource for educators. And let's take a look at that. If I go to For Educators, and I select a subject, let's select Science. And I'm going to scroll down. We're looking for, uh, we were talking about hurricanes, so I would quickly look. Is there anything about hurricanes? Well, no, there's not. But what about oh, weather? Weather extreme. So if I click on that, it'll give me a lesson plan that'll show up about weather extremes. Uh, it tells me an objective already. So it's ready to go for um, us turning in our lesson plans. Uh, it even has a place for standards alignment. So that's the Groiler uh, online, uh, just a resource for teachers. Uh, we're going to skip over this popular science uh, portion and come back to that later. Uh, but if I click on this ebook resources, it provides full text of many books that would be helpful in our study of science. So we've got animal sciences, we've got there's one on biomes that's an excellent one. So I've kind of looked at this over the summer, this one on biomes. Uh, but it's got a, a large list of resources that are available for us. And it's got the full text available. And so you can provide that link to your students and they could take a look at that information. Uh, so that's the ebook center. Uh, in the next video, what we're going to do is take a look at this tab here, the SAS, and look at that pretty intensely. But there's one other place I want you to take a look at in this video. If we go back to the home page of NCYSL and go to the professional zone, there's going to be a link where it says top 20 websites. And now all of these aren't going to be related to science, but this provides 20 excellent resources. And a lot of these are things that can help you very, very much with your lesson planning. Um, resources that you would need. And so this would be a great thing to take a look at as you have time. All right, in the next video, we'll take a look at the SAS curriculum pathways.